Insecurity means either lacking self-confidence or lacking security. An insecure person will most of the time doubt his or her own intelligence. So in this video, I want to give you five habits of highly insecure people and keep on watching because the fifth one might just surprise you the way that I was. So stay tuned and keep on watching. hi guys how you all doing welcome back to my channel i really appreciate you welcome to my channel if you are new my name is prudence and on this channel i encourage and uplift you to step into your purpose intentionally and fearlessly all to the glory of god and so today 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 yes today is the day that the lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we talk about insecurity okay so in my previous video guys last week if you didn't watch it i'm going to put it up here you go back and watch it as we're talking about what self-care really means okay so now we are talking about the inside part we are working on ourselves from inside before we come to the outside part because we want to be a whole meal okay we want to be a whole combo we don't want people saying you know what you're just wearing that mask you're just wearing that lipstick putting on this mouth but you are this bad person so we want to work on ourselves from inside out okay so today i want to share with you five habits of uh, highly insecure people and if you can resonate with one of them there's nothing wrong with saying you know what i think i'm that person because it is until you see the problem in you and fix it that's how you become a better person instead of you pushing uh, the problem under the carpet you don't solve anything okay so the first habit of uh, an insecure person is that you criticize other people you're always criticizing other people to make yourself feel better to make yourself look you know to take the glory no matter what other people do no matter what other people say you always find you know a way to bring them down to criticize them and an example is whereby you know someone maybe let me just give an example of saying in a class the teacher asks uh, 10 times 10 the pers the other person says it's 50 this is just an example it's 50 and you lift up your hand and be like no it's not 50 it's 100 duh you know that is being insecure now this is just an example just popped up in my head but as we are grown up we are all grown up right now you find that happening even in the comment section on social media you see people correcting they think they are correcting other people but they are criticizing them so that they can look good and say you know what she knows the answer she knows better you want other people to look dumb to look stupid that is a habit of being insecure okay someone once said a happy um a happy criticism makes the world better but an unhappy criticism makes you look better. So before you can respond or answer to other to people, you have to ask yourself, am I doing this so that I can look better or am I doing this uh, to help someone? There's positive criticism and there's just negative criticism. Okay, so that is the first habit of highly insecure people. The second habit of highly insecure people is that they can't say no. They just can't say no. Now, I can uh, attest to this. I was once this person who could not say no to anything. And I thought I was being uh, a good person. I was, thought I was, uh, I was being a supportive friend and all of that. Until a stranger, a total stranger. I say a stranger because I didn't know this person like that. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't have that personal relationship. But she saw it and she was like, you know what, you are just being too nice. Some people are taking advantage of that. I know you want to look good and all of that, but it's okay to say no sometimes. Okay, so when you always say uh, you can't say no, you want to impress other people. You think if I say no, they're, they're going to stop being my friends. If I say no, they're going to hate me. If, they, if I say no, maybe they're going to see me as a bad person. Listen, you have to take a stand and put your foot down. If you do not want to do it, just say no. It's okay to say no, especially if it makes you uncomfortable. Especially if you know that you are being you know, taken advantage of. You have to stand your ground. 
okay so if you are constantly that person who's also saying you know yes 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 i just want to say that that's just being insecure you think uh they're going to stop being my friends they're going to stop being you know being my family if they're stopping your friends they were not your friends from the beginning okay and with family i know it happens a lot with family uh but if you say no and they just stop talking to you psh, bye felicia okay like you just have to learn to stand up for yourself and say i'm taking a stand i cannot be manipulated into this okay so that is the second way of um highly insecure people the third way of highly insecure people is that you seek validation in other people you always always want you know someone's opinion on you you always ask them do i look good before you go out am i beautiful or is this okay like you are always always you know you seek validation from other people you can't uh, bring yourself to make decision for yourself you can't make decision for yourself you want other people you know to validate it that's when you are going to go on with with that whatever decision that you are making and in, in this day and age of social media it comes with likes how many likes did i get follow me follow this yes it's it's a call to action but if you find yourself begging please please follow me please please child please if people like you they are going to follow you they are going to subscribe to your channel just don't look so desperate that's just being insecure okay so that is the third way of being insecure you seek validation from other people always seeking you know for other people to to compliment on you or you always ask other people for for their validation even though it's not required anyway <laughs> moving along the fourth way of of be, of being of highly insecure people is that they they use passive aggression um aggressive communication what is passive uh, aggressive communication it is whereby you manipulate people into giving you something you just can't humble yourself and say may i please have or you know what please help me with this you want to manipulate people into doing it you want to use a sort of force for people to help you or for people you know to to, to give you something and the other example that comes into my mind is uh, bullies you know bully people bullying other people in schools and there are other people elderly people who are bullies even on social media we see it cyber bullying you always always you know pressure people to to take a look at me you when you are asking for something it comes as if you are blackmailing them or something you know like if you don't do this i'll do this you know so that is being insecure humble yourself and ask nicely and ask properly don't use passive aggressive communication that is just a sign of being insecure okay so the last but not least guys like i said it might surprise you it is excessive positivity excessive positivity when i was working on myself in 2019 i can't forget that because i was someone who was always always operating under the spirit of fear you know i didn't have that much confidence so when i came across this point i was like wait what's wrong with being excessively positive but it so happens that excessive positivity is whereby you say i'm okay even though you are not you know when people ask you for, oh, uh, are you okay or maybe a friend calls you and ask you are you okay like is everything okay even though you are not you're like no i'm good i'm okay you know and when uh your your um, uh, i give examples of friends a lot okay maybe your partner ask you or maybe you had a misunderstanding in the house you are married you had, a, you had a misunderstanding instead for you to talk about it you just say no i'm good i'm okay i'm okay that is excessive positivity at the end of the day you are being hurt at the end of the day you are not okay so positivity the the healthy positivity is whereby you talk about it so that they know where you are standing and you are happy but if you are constantly saying i'm okay oh no that's okay oh this this but you are not okay that is not healthy you are just being an insecure person okay 
so yeah guys those are my five uh habits of highly in insecure people if you've got another one just drop it in the comment section let me know and let me know if you resonated with any of these points or add on to something that you want to add it might help someone in the comment section okay so thank you so much for watching if you're not yet subscribed what are you waiting for smash that uh, that subscribe button turn the notification bell on so that whenever i upload you will be the first person to know you are a vip right so thank you so much guys have a wonderful and blessed day and god bless you bye